This video is a quick demonstration of beta version 1.0 of the Liquid Foot Plus series editor for both the Windows environment and the Macintosh uh, OS X environment. When you load the program, you basically have a screen that looks like this. It starts you off in the preset section. Let me go through the highlights of the editor first, and then I'll have a separate video on each of the uh, editor functions, preset mode, set song mode, set list, page, IA slots, sysx messages, and then global settings. Start with the menu system. We have open. You can open a pre-existing sysx file, of, uh, which can contain any amount of uh, information, any type, any amount of songs and set lists and so on. We can save selective information if not full dumps. We can load firmware into the device. This editor, by the way, works off uh, the USB connector on the back of the Liquid Foot Plus. So you'll take a USB cable, plug it into your computer, and this software will then com uh, communicate with it. Transferring to and from a device, if you are plugged into a device and you are connected, which is indicated here, uh, you can then uh, selectively load uh, from the device or send to the device information. And I'll go ahead and show that. So when you start the editor, you're actually not connected. You'll have a red X. If uh, your liquid foot is detected, when you click on connect, it will uh, give you a check mark and a green circle telling you all is okay. And for this demo, uh, for the rest of this demo, I'm going to um, actually right now grab all the data from the liquid foot. So it's grabbing all the information off the liquid foot and it's now in the editor here. And uh, so let's go through this ribbon bar. The open and save dialog boxes uh, are a little different than normal. When you click on open or save, you will get a filtering dialog box first. And this allows you to select. Uh, once you select a file, it might, let's say you had a file with a complete uh, dump of all presets and songs and set lists and so on. Uh, but for this particular load, uh, you only want a couple of presets out of the file and you just want to ignore everything else. So in that case, we'll select presets, uh, grab a starting preset that we want to grab and an ending preset. Typically, you would just grab everything off of a file, but in this case, we want to be selective and we only want to grab song number one, let's say. So we go ahead and do that. Click open grab the file we want. I'm not going to do that right now. And uh, then it will only load into memory those particular um, filtered uh, uh, records and leave everything else that was in the editor. So you could do this multiple times. Uh, you, can, you can imagine grabbing a certain number of presets from one file and songs and set lists and so forth. Now the fact that you can also filter on saves makes this a pretty powerful screen. So when you do open files that are filtered or save files that are filtered instead of exiting this dialog box it, bring, it, it, it brings you right back to this dialog box uh, because you might want to save multiple files maybe just a file of presets just a file of songs and so on you might have different reasons for doing that so that's how you selectively filter if you're just going to grab everything then leave it the default settings leave everything on and then leave these values how they started when you entered so if we go out and come back in uh, it takes you from the first record to the last first to last and so on and so that by default we will just take everything that is found in whatever file you feed it and it will load that information into the editor okay so that's open and save clear uh, preset and again, if this was a song, it'd be clear song, set list, page, IA slot, and so on. Uh, it does what you would think it would do. If you say yes to this, it will delete whatever is programmed into this uh, particular slot. So in this case, it's preset number one. So that's clear. To navigate to different screens, uh, we can go from presets to songs. And so now I can go through my list of songs. Uh, we have a, uh, if you click uh, set list, uh, you'll then be taken to your various set lists and you can load your set list information. It's very easy to do that. Uh, if you're creating pages or editing pages, uh, click on the button within the page you want or scroll through the buttons on the page 
and here you have access to your uh, programming. It's very simple to do. We'll have a separate video on that. And IA slots. Again, pick your IA slot that you're going to program. Give it a name, a nickname on, on this page, and edit away. We'll have separate videos on each of these, sysx messages, and then global settings. Global settings is the only one that does not have um, presets of any sort, so the screen will stay empty to indicate that. I will note that uh, when we did connect, uh, prior to connecting, it'll tell you not connected. When it does connect, it'll tell you what device it found and what firmware version it's running. Okay, so that's preset through global settings. This area here changes by what screen you're on, so preset. Preset has a special kind of copy and paste where you can copy IA states only and then paste them into a different preset. Uh, we'll talk about that when we're doing presets, uh, but if we switch to something else, like uh, in this case pages, here I'm looking at my entire page and, and now I can start dragging and dropping and moving things around and so on. So there are special functions based on what feature set you're on. Item receive and send. Instead of doing a sync as I did earlier, uh, if we're in a particular area, let's say preset, and I make a change to this parameter, I can go ahead and just immediately um, send an uh, item, and now I just sent it to my liquid foot. So as I click on the liquid foot, I actually now I see the change that I just made. And save that back. Okay, so. Uh, sync is what I just did before, and sync will take everything that's on your liquid foot and load it right into the editor. So it'll overwrite whatever happens to be in the editor. And then connect allows you to uh, connect or uh, disconnect. If you disconnect, all these type of functions will stop working, and so you won't accidentally overwrite anything. You'll notice on the menus, the um, sync from and the sync to will have uh, changed so that you can select on them as well. Okay, so that's the overview of the top bar and the menu bar. And now this middle section here is um, basically where you can see what preset you're on within each of your areas, so IA slots and set lists and so on. You can scroll up and down by clicking on the green arrows. Uh, when you're within a preset, you can go ahead and just highlight the full name and type in a change. Uh, hit the tab key, go ahead and change your nickname. And you can see now I left the preset. If I go back, my saves are there automatically. And then for each of these sections other than global settings, we have a sorter, picker, drag and drop screen. This red uh, uh, circle will change based on what, what you're on. So here it's showing pages, here it's presets. So if I go ahead and click on my sorter, I can now see all of my presets. If I find one I want to edit really quick, I just double click on it and it takes me right to it. The other thing you can do, uh, well, one more thing is that you'll notice that um, uh, number four, preset number four is yellow. That means I changed it and it's different from what's in the liquid foot device itself. And that's because I changed the name, of course. Go ahead and double click on it and we can see that change. Now th this screen is powerful, uh, this uh, sort, pick, drag and drop screen. Uh, it's universal, so if I go into IA uh, and go in here, I'll see all my IAs, and I can do the same thing. I could double click on one and so on. Uh, but what makes this powerful is that if you want to move things around, uh, let's say we want to move the change preset over between 50 and 51. So if I go ahead and do that, you can see that it moved change over and it uh, deleted it from where it was and I can go ahead and start moving things around just by dragging and dropping again nothing is saved yet so if you don't save and close it and you want to go back to what it was before you got into the screen just hit revert and it'll just bring everything back if uh, I need to add a preset or insert one let's say I can go ahead and hit insert and you can see now there's an empty I can delete so I can go ahead and delete all sorts of items uh, again revert to go back to where I was I could cut copy and paste as well so go ahead and uh, copy 
and move that down to here and paste and now you can see I have two of the same presets. So that's effectively how this screen works and like I said it's similar to each of the functions. So if I go to page it's the same thing. Click a page and there it is. The next video I will do will describe the uh, lower two-thirds of the screen and that's unique based on which parameter you're editing at the moment. Thank you.